I'll tell you what, though. I love the life stories of those old-time country stars. I mean, I was uh, going to Loretta Lynn's Wikipedia page in the break there and kind of doing a quick scan because, you know, like Dolly Parton famously has been married for a long, long time, also famously never had kids, didn't want to detract from her uh, career and what she wanted to do. Loretta Lynn was married to a guy who was always stepping out and always hitting her, and they had like six kids. Her husband, I think, was another performer back then. But um, she's like... John Denver biopic. They had to have done one of those. And John Denver, he's been dead a long time. But these women who are like, yeah, I know he was always out there cheating on me. And one time he left me while I was giving birth Mm. to one of our kids. But Loretta Lynn said, he never hit me one time that I didn't hit him back twice. So it's just these like hardcore sticking together stories no matter. It's always very lopsided, of course. It's the guy doing whatever and the woman hanging around. But uh, a wild story. They were married for 50 years, and her husband died uh, quite a while ago, about 25 years ago. Well, there it is, Take Me Home by John Denver. That's the John Denver biopic? Yeah. Yeah. Who and who said. played him? Chad. Artie, Artie Duncan? Chad Lowe. It's got Kristen Davis in it. Oh, yeah. From, Big Kristen Davis fan. Uh, hacha, hacha. Sex in the City. So what, they just gave him like a page boy haircut and glasses and boom, you're John Pretty Denver? much. It was made yeah. in the year 2000. This one, I don't think, got a, a, a big, uh, there was a lot of fanfare about this one. Okay. Probably direct to TV, uh, direct to DVD or VHS yeah. or whatever it was back then. All right. Well, back when Chad Lowe, I guess, was getting gigs. I don't even know who Chad Lowe is. He's Rob Lowe's brother. Oh. They were both, um, there was a short period of time which they were equally sought after. And then uh, Rob Lowe quickly eclipsed his brother. Seems like it. Yeah, he did. But yeah, John Denver's been dead for a long time. And Chad Lowe's still acting, though. Still up until... Well, trouble with doing a biopic is you know there isn't going to be a sequel when the guy's dead. You know, they, they tell the life story in one shot. There's not going to be a John Denver 2. That's why you want the series. Yeah, the John Denver series. You get the John Denver series, <laughs> uh-huh. and then you make it three or four seasons long. Remember, John Denver died in the mid-90s, and I was still producing a lot of parody songs at my early radio career, and I did a um, John Denver parody song, and holy Christ, did people lose their goddamn minds. Because it was so good and so Because he died in a plane crash, um, like he had built a plane or something, yeah. or like a, a do-it-yourself plane, and he crashed and died. And uh, Henry John Duchendorf Jr., boy, you grab a stage name when that's your name. I like Duchendorf. But he wasn't from West Virginia, so he's lying about that. He wasn't from the Rocky Mountains. I understand a, a songwriter is a storyteller, right? Leonard Skinner, not from Alabama. But what's their most famous song, Pound Cake? I don't know. When we play Is This Skinner? He does well. You do well. No, he does well on Is This Kiss. He's a Kiss fan. <laughs> But when we play Is This Skinner? I have no idea what Leonard Skinner's most famous song is. I, it's called Sweet Home Alabama. Well, Free Bird is pretty popular, too. But Sweet Home Alabama, Ooh. they're not from Alabama. They're famously a Florida band. John Denver, <laughs> born in New Mexico, died in California. But this, sweet Home Florida. Who made <laughs> Florida? <laughs> who made Welcome to the Jungle? Because that's what I was thinking. That's Guns and or Roses. Damn it, I can't, you, and I've asked that multiple times, and it's always the same answer. And you don't. Yes, it will <laughs> not change. It's never going to change. change. <laughs> you know, every time I ask you, the answer is the same. It's so weird how that happens. Just once, I want you to. John Denver's from California? Florida. He died, uh, oh, died uh, near California. his house. Okay. Yeah, he's, he was born in New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. Henry John Duchendorf Jr. Anyway, um, after four games, the Guardians and the Royals have split the series. The Royals won last night 5-2, to two, so there's two more games in the regular season, 6-10 tonight here on MMS, and then 4-10 tomorrow afternoon, and then we go into Friday. And it looks like it might be the Rays. They haven't nailed down a time, but yeah, the, the pro- Blue Jays took the top spot last night because they beat the Orioles and Seattle lost. There's all this weird postseason calculus that goes on. So I think that so that makes Toronto that's my C team. That makes Toronto the top wild card team, right? Yes. And, and they then they would the, most likely play the Mariners. Right. And so we would play the Rays. Yep. 
here in Cleveland on Friday. We just don't know what time that's going to be. We'll probably find that out Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Rays lost to Boston last night. So, um, yeah. I th- somebody was telling me that um, – The hell's his name? I'm drawing a complete blank. He's a friend of ours. John Denver. Uh, no, no, no. He's oh. a T. No, he's um. Members only date. Andre not. Andre not. Me and him were texting. Said on. that there were like four uh, possible times. I think for the wild card game, two daytime, two nighttime. I don't know if he was. I don't know how that lays out. Having some cocktails or something on Friday night, but at well, like midnight, him and I, he had posted something. I replied, and then we started talking about shoes. And we text about shoes for like forty five minutes. Uh huh. It's very probably had a couple of pops in yeah. them. Yeah. Why I, not? I was. Uh, I had a few. He had a few, and we just going back and forth, sending each other pictures of shoes. Yeah. Uh, shoe pics. Mm-hmm. Just a couple of cool guys. Yeah. Shooting each other, trading pictures of shoes. Mm-hmm. No big deal. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Guardians tonight, right around the corner here at the corner of Carnegie and Ontario. Uh, in the penultimate game of the regular season against the Kansas City Royals. And you'll hear it here on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. All right, Mary, do you know a favorite movie? I don't have, I don't know that I have a favorite movie of all time. Like, I love It's a Wonderful Life. I love Dumb and Dumber. You like comedy movies. I, I, yes. We're trying to figure out, but you've told us, like, you go, well, I don't mind horror movies. I just like them to be suspense, suspenseful, but then you don't like them to be slow. Now, here's my problem. Somebody texted me in the break. They're like, I'm a writer with a master's degree, and Mary's right. If there's no motive, there's... I'm like, stop it. See, maybe I'm just smarter than I think, and I I know... That's what it is. You're I'm, smarter than you think. I was oh, yeah. born well, to be a movie critic, and that's where my heart uh, lies. No, you know no, how people not. love critics. Yeah. I, that's where my heart lies, and that's why I watch these movies, and I can't pinpoint what I don't like or why it's so terrible. Oh, that's exactly what we want from a critic. Because my insides, well, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know how critics, uh, they, they go, I don't know why I didn't like this. I just didn't like it. Listen, I haven't, skull. I haven't honed my critiquing skills yet, but my... I have the reactions, and I know what's good and then what's not. you need not. to hang out with Pound Cake. He will tell you 40 yeah, different you, ways from Sunday why he doesn't <laughs> like something or why like, he does. So I'll pick it apart. You like so very few movies, and the ones that you do, like, yeah, Dumb and Dumber is good, but It's a Wonderful Life. That only reason you like that movie is because of the nostalgia. Probably. It's do you like a popcorn great movie. movies? What does that mean? Big movies crowd please, and you're sitting there just oh, shoving the popcorn time. into your mouth. Yeah. Um, here's what the revelation I had while I was discussing this with Brian last night, because he, like you, is a huge horror fan. And I said, I think my issue is that I saw a lot of really good horror movies very young. And now I'm expecting a horror movie to make me feel that I'm going to need to know what these really good horror movies were and when And you can you agree or young. disagree, but they're 90s very popular. 90s horror movies. No, 2000s. Popular, even worse. Good. Scream. No, not Scream. Well, I, I did, know what you but, did last summer. Well, yeah. Ah. Um, the Ring, The that Descent, The Others, um, Darkness Falls. Um, let me see. I'm going through these. Final Destination, uh, um, friggin' Hostel but, 1 and 2, But those Saw. were super bloody movies. But they're not that bloody. They Saw and Hostel? <laughs> that, I can't. Hostel, co- <laughs> Hostel coined the term torture porn because they're like, you want to talk about no motive? There's no story. There's no motive yeah, in this. Yeah, that is literally just. I guess. The Saw movies Hot are. kids getting tied Saw. up. This and- guy's mad and he's no, going to no, make no. everybody, makes, you know. He, the original Saw movie. Is so good. You it's can't great. It. It's, it's fantastic. Great. That might be my favorite horror movie. But the plot of Saw is the same as Nightmare on Elm Street. This guy's mad, and he's going to make everybody suffer. It's just that no. Saw does it in real life. Freddy Krueger does it no, in people's no, no. dreams. Saw, he same wants motive. to teach you a lesson. It's almost like Seven, which is Seven, fantastic movie. But he does it. That just makes it sound more writerly. Nobody's learning. I like it. Nobody's learning a lesson. They he's are. killing them because they didn't learn a lesson. What lesson? So what Does anybody s- ever get out of those things and go, boy, I sure They could have my- if they would sure have learned my lesson. harder. Jeepers uh, Creepers? I like whichever one they have where Chester Bennington has to tear his skin away from the car seat. Yeah, it's all gross. Uh, it's, I've so, never seen any of the songs. So movies. this is what I'm saying. 13 Ghosts? But this is what I'm saying. House on Haunted Hill? Like you're not a, so you're not averse to super bloody movies. I guess not. You saw them when you were a kid. Yeah. And you're not averse to them. So why now? I don't know. Maybe I just thought I didn't like them. You don't have kids. Usually when people have kids, that's when they start going, I can't. That's kind of what it was for me when I started having kids. I was like, I I, I can't. Something switched to my brain. Also, another great sign of a a very good critic. 
I thought I didn't like them. <laughs> but now I do. But now I think I do. You know yeah. what? I'm going to have to revise my critique of this movie. But that's what I mean is that I saw a lot of, those are all like well-rated horror movies. And I saw them when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, like in but those years. But if your years. critique of some of these, for instance, The Dark and the Wicked, which I think is Boring. a good movie. Okay. You said there's no motive. There was no motive. But there's no motive in the Final Destination movies. Yes, it is. Death is coming for you. He, but it's the You escaped death, it's and the, death says, no, 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 That's no, not motive. No, no. It is death motive. isn't real. It, it's the, death is very real. In the movie, death isn't a guy who goes, the salmon moose. Yes. And points, it's the log line of the movie. Death is coming for you, and then you they can't go, escape oh, it. we escaped it. But that's not a motive. The that's, motive is you can't escape death. That's and not don't a motive. Think that you can. That's a setup to start killing everybody in the movie. That's fine. It's a one line setup. Fine. Death is coming for you. Sure. It's not a motive. The there's, motive there's is you no, can't escape. But that's a one way thing. If you're going to write, the, well, I'm sure this master's degree writer will tell you, is there's no conflict there because there's no way you can go. <laughs> Once they go on their break at Target, they will. If I just if I just talk to death, we can so- settle this and figure this out. No. Those are just all setups to kill people in movies. Well. That's my problem, is that I think I'm I'm expecting the Freddy Krueger movies and the Jason, Freddy versus Jason, and, like, the one of each of those right before that one came out. I saw those. Chucky I saw when I was little. Not a revenge. Movie, but, but the motive in those was revenge. Sure. Freddy Krueger was killed by the parents of the right, children. Right, and he right? wants to kill their children. Jason Voorhees. Great. It's all revenge. Exactly. Final Destination, there's no revenge. Death is getting revenge. Who you is escaped death? It. Death is the being. <laughs> Why do I have to explain this to you? I don't want to mansplain horror to you, but Alan. Death, but I will. death has no motive. Death's motive is death to kill. Is is, but it is right. There's, when you die, they don't go. God, death did it again. Yeah. Death had it out for Mary's dad. Okay, death had it out for this, Loretta Lynn. In this <laughs> movie, death's motive is to kill. My whole job is to yeah. kill people. You can't escape me. Death and you is did, kind of an entity in the movie. Yes. And is it you personified can, at all? No, kind of. but but it How? is. It's not personified, no. Yeah, it is. He says, you can't escape death. He's no, coming No, 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 no. Is there a guy that walks There's out not in a guy. the cloak no, and goes, I'm That's the what personified. No. That's Don't, what I meant. First of all, I'm the critic here. <laughs> Does it take, and she yeah, doesn't I'm know just, personified. Yeah. She's, yeah. Does it take the shape of a person? No. Death is a, you know, it's just an death idea. Is a re- I get it. Death but is, you, you, get, you get, it definitely, in that movie, takes on an invisible, like, uh, Listen, death power. exists. Yeah, yeah. Death exists. But, but, and and I'm talking go, about just here's a way the construct that, of that movie. Here's a way we could just kill a bunch of people and sure. then, you know. Yeah. But you can you can reroute it for a little bit, but it's always going to come back to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's my problem, so, is that death. I've seen a lot of horror movies at a young age that are, even not just by my cri- critic standards, by most critic standards, they're pretty good well received. Well yeah. received across the board. This was a solid horror film, and I saw them all at a young age. Now I am twenty years later trying to recreate those feelings with movies that aren't as good, and yeah, that's why can. I think I'm upset with them. How about the Ghost and Mister Chicken with Don Knotts? Probably not, but whatever. I'll all give right. it a try, I guess. <laughs> all right. So that's my that's issue. the people are saying that's the plot of Final Destination. It's not a motive. The motive is the plot of the movie is they escaped death. They're going to find another way to be killed. It's not Death's a motive. whole motive is killing people. That's its pure existence. Death doesn't have a motive, though. In this movie, it does. Oh, Mr. come Suspend on. Mr. Suspend the disbelief. Come on. You come on. There was no motive for that demon to kill that whole family. But motive- They didn't do anything. Motive implies a reason. Correct. Death has no reason for doing things. Death's whole you existence is for you to die. But it's not a reason. That's the reason. That's like saying me walking around living is my- my reason is I'm living. That's it's a lot of re- people's reasons. It's not my reason. <laughs> I, I just am. I'm, I'm, st- was already I'm still alive. <laughs> I mean, if we keep going with this conversation, I'm going to really need death to show up. Death ain't showing up for you, brother. You didn't <laughs> no, escape him. No, not for me. Him. You didn't escape him. <laughs> he didn't say for you. <laughs> okay, yes. anyway. It's, okay. So that's what I think my problem is, is that no matter what anybody but I think recommends. We've gotten, but, but, but more importantly, I think we've gotten to at least determine that you're not averse to blood. I've seen them all. I mean, you haven't. The modern ones are really, really rough. But I mean, like, it, but again, Hostel, I remember going to see Hostel with my girlfriend at the time, and she was considerably younger. I was like 14 than me. when Dude, I saw that Dude, I was getting lightheaded in Hostel. And all these kids are, like, laughing, laughing their asses, asses off. Yeah. Like, 
oh, I'm getting too, and that was a long time ago. I'm like, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. See, I don't know what changed in me. There was a period in my life where I was really afraid of horror movies. And I think it's because I watched all those so young and then I was afraid of them. And then now that I'm coming back to them, I'm almost regretting not watching them the whole time because I'm like, there's really nothing. If I could handle these movies when I was 10, 11, 12 and they were giving me nightmares, no, I don't feel like I'm going to watch a movie as a 32-year-old woman that's going to make me feel the same way. Plus, we all grew up super Jesus-y too. Dude, and that's so, like, why possession movies yeah, when I was and a ghost kid, movies really get me. When I was yeah, a kid, it was like all the devil Yeah, that scares and... me because, like, oh, man, I don't want to have to go to church. <laughs> well, Brian's annoyed because he's a slasher guy. He, like, you know, House of a Thousand Corpses, all that. Yeah, get him, kill him. He's, like, cheering him on as they're cutting people up and stuff. I don't particularly like that, but I'm like, ooh, let's watch this demon movie or this movie where this girl gets possessed and, like, and he doesn't believe in possession and demons, so he's like, this is a waste of my two hours. Right, I don't want to sit here and watch that. <laughs> I don't believe in a lot of things. It doesn't mean I can't watch a movie about it. Well, like, he makes I fun of it. He's going to sit and make fun of how stupid the whole premise of the movie is. You saw Slacks. Slacks is good. Slacks was so bad. <laughs> it was so dumb. All right. But we I mean- are like 0 for 5. And here's the thing about Dark and the Wicked, which is what we watched yesterday on Shudder. Four to five skulls, 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I gave it five and a half, maybe six out of ten. Have you ever seen Rubber? It's about ten years old. The one with uh, the Robin the, Williams? No, no, no. That's Flubber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Terrifying. No, the one, about the, the, the one about the tire that comes to life and just rolls around killing people? No, but I don't, don't want to see that. Oh. That's stupid. What I'm about what about for... what about Dale and Tucker versus Evil? No, I do don't. Do you like want... humor in your? I don't you don't like humor so. in your? That's like a silly. I want to be scared. Right, I want to. That one's like fun though. It's like a fun movie. Story. I want to watch a movie at thirty-two. And I told Brian this last night. I said maybe I've just been exposed to all the horrors of real life that well, that none something. of this is going to scare me because I have unresolved issues with my dead father. Like that's way scarier than someone chopping off their own fingers because they're possessed. Yeah, that was pretty cool though. <laughs> That was pretty you cool. You should, uh, yeah, just uh, I've had debt watch the news. Show up there's more stuff on the news. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Any movie that where they're zooming in on an old lady at a sink and you don't know what's going on well, and she like turns Carrot around and face. she's done Carrot something. Face. Yeah, she's done something to herself. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, no. And then I also said, because we watched that What Josiah Saw, which was so bad. Yeah. Um, and then we watched... Dark and the Wicked back to back, and I told her I was like, maybe I just didn't need to watch two farm movies. The Southern Gothic type thing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he goes, seriously, the setting is what threw you well, off. Well, yeah, because there's like, nothing going on. I was like, kind of, because they were like similar. Every jump scare is a cowbell, yeah, or a sheep, yeah, yeah. I like watching movies with my girlfriend because she gets very into them. So like, if there is, we're not watching scary movies, but even watching uh, Got Hot D, she freaks out. <laughs> When there's any blood or violence, and it's adorable to yeah. see her just like uh, that affected by you know what. Speaking like of that. Game of Thrones, I don't. Th- you're right. I'm not averse to bloody and gory because when uh, Sansa cut that dude's d off and fed it to his dogs, yeah, I was like, "You go, girl!" And I was like <laughs> cheering her on. So maybe I should try bloodier movies. I don't know. I want to be scared. I want to be like can't sleep, terrified, like I was when I was twelve. But again, that's also something that happen. is going to happen again. And also, you gotta lower the bar a little bit because getting to a point where you are so scared you can't sleep is really hard to do when you're in your thirties. I'm just too hard. I keep my recommending life. these these other movies to you that you should see if you're not. I averse wrote them to, down. Did you write Martyrs down? A Serbian no. film. I'm not watching uh, that. No, I'm not recommending that. That's that's you want to talk about no motive. I mean, the last one you said was the lodge. That's on Hulu, but that's like a recent martyrs, martyrs is probably like, martyrs is French. Some of these you'll be reading. Come on, man. Well, do you care about the words? Do you care about the blood? I can't read. That's why. Also, why I'm a good critic. But well, she's an awful fish. It's not even about fish. reading. You have to read them pretty fast. Like th- those subtitles would be like, I'm like wait. I was not in a last... horror movie. They're not doing huge monologues. I mean, I was on the last word. Martyrs, high tension. Inside is good. Um, I liked uh, House on Haunted Hill because that's another possession movie about like, you know what other genre genre mm. I really like is um, mental hospitals. If it takes place in a mental hospital, I'm immediately drawn in because I think that's another one where I'm like, oh, this, this could happen. This popular genre. This you should see. Genre. I'll tell you what you Girl should see. Girl interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> 28 days. It's not a mental no, hospital. No, what's but. the one with uh, David Caruso? Somebody will tell me. Oh, it was um, one of his first movies, I think. I don't know who David Caruso is. He was in, oh, Session 9. 
You made me watch that. I didn't like it. Oh, you don't like Session 9? I thought it was boring. I made you watch it? That was one of the first horror movies last year. This time last year when we tried to do this, what will scare Mare? Boy, the listeners are right. Me introducing you to Shudder was the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> I I'm like you. 0 for 9 with you. You really are. Wow, Session okay. Session 9 was the first one, and I thought that one wasn't scary enough. I was like, I get it. It's cool. Boy, you have a line. You got a weird balancing act here. I do, right? She's... Do you see? Well, she knows what she likes. She She's knows just, what I'm, she likes. She just does. It. It's just, this just very narrow. I can't articulate. I'm exactly rolling snake what eyes on every. The more you talk about what you like and like watching movies, the more the, confusing it is. No, the more oh. I appreciate Brian for being able to put up with you for anything. Dude, he's a saint, and it's it's beyond saint. <laughs> it's beyond that. What about? He's, he's just the best. To, to watch nine movies with someone and they go. I didn't like I any of these. Of I'd be like, well, I don't think you like me. Like, Maybe I, let me take a different tack. Okay, here we go. Let me recommend a couple of movies that I didn't particularly think were that great. Okay. But you might like them. Well, here we go. See, I've been making the mistake of going, here's a movie I love. Watch it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's and a- here's the thing. Brian has liked most of your recommendations, and I've been the one like, trash, All waste right. of my life. All right. Well, it's because he's sleeping through half of them, too. Right. He wakes up and goes, that was great. Yeah. Case 39. Case 39. With Renee Zellweger. Heard. Um, uh, oh, what's the other? I'm thinking of, because you said mental ho- uh, hospital. Um, uh, case 39. What about, you saw the others. What about Bob? Now what, now what about <laughs> Bob? 1408. I think John I've K- seen it's a Stephen that. King movie that a lot Is of people that about thought a hotel I've seen room? that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. So you might room. like I that. I vaguely remember that, but I also kind of confuse it with the number twenty three because that takes place in a room. Nah, that was right? no good. Hey, Sandy. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Hello, Sandy. Hello. What's going on? How are you? Hanging in. So hey, cool. Mary, <laughs> yes. uh, have you seen Paranormal Activity? Those oh, terrified me. <laughs> paranormal Activity yeah. was one of the ones that left me. I saw those younger when they came out, and I was absolutely couldn't sleep. Holy I cow, my I could not lady. sleep for three days. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> three days. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I can do blood, guts, and gore and all that stuff, but that... That one gave me the EBGBs. You'd rather see the all the EBGBs. You'd rather see all the viscera on screen than see nothing happening and people getting thrown around. And all right, listen, thank you, you Sandy. Go. I, I've we got I'm very late. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The Alan Cox Show on one hundred point seven. W.